YouTube, it's Chad Close here. Today I'm going to talk about Explode. Quick Explode. It's a very easy function that Blender has that enables you to explode pretty much a game object and by clicking literally like four buttons. It's pretty amazing. This is the second time I made this tutorial because the first time I had music playing in the background I completely forgot. So let's just throw a game object in here. We'll just throw the monkey in here. Suzanne will be good at this. So let's just raise her up a little bit. And let's go to Object, Quick, effect, quick Effects, Quick Explode. That's it. You just made something explode. Literally, that's how simple it is. We're going to change some settings, and I'll show you how to use uh, some settings. So I'll increase this bar. I changed it to 50 because by default a particle system explode its lifetime is 50. You can increase that, decrease it, do whatever you want. That's just the settings of how many frames will the object be there. So as you can see we're on frame 79, it's gone. You can't see it. But if you go back into like say 20, you can see it. Alright. Here start end. It's not actually the start and the end point. It's the start and the end point of the explode. So it's going to start exploding at 1 and it's going to end exploding at 1. So you could increase this so things kind of explode. I can actually just show you if I play it forward. If I increase this, they kind of explode. They randomly explode, which um, if you want that, I mean you can. It's definitely a different effect. If we keep going down here, this velocity right here, if you increase the normal, you'll get a more violent explosion. As you can see, if I crank this up even more, you can see it really explodes. This random factor right here, you can increase. And that way, not every one explodes at the same velocity. There's kind of some random in there. If you go down here and you go to spin, you can increase the spin. So now things are really torquing around, if you can see. I'll bring down the velocity. So you can see this a little better. A little too much. All right, so they're kind of spinning. You can go down here, and if I pause it, my menu will let me. You can go to random, and now it just does a random spin. So very nice. If I keep going, that I believe is the main settings of the explode. So that's pretty much it. You can increase the mass, they fall faster, do they hit something, it does more damage, or pushes them farther, not damage. Um, let's just add a collision in here, so it kind of changes it up a little bit. So just throw a plane in here. Over here in the physics menu, go down to collision. So now Suzanne is exploding and bouncing on this plane. Obviously a floor doesn't really bounce like that, and a shattered Suzanne doesn't bounce. So you can go down here in particle, you can just bring up the stickiness. So now you can see it's kind of sticking to the plane. But as you can see, it looks kind of like it's like sliding out and bouncing for some reason. Over here, you can increase the factor of the damping. And that way, now they don't slide and they stick. Uh, you can put the damping down. I'm not exactly sure how much that's going to do. But if you increase the friction, it stops moving pretty much faster. You, and again, you can use the random here. So I am just going to get rid of that. So, I mean, really this explode, you can use it on anything. You can say, add a text. Write Chad. And do Alt, Alt C. Mesh from curve. And then a rotated up 90 degrees. Rotate it 180, extrude it back, and then you could just go object quick expect quick explode. And my name just exploded, so it's really that easy. That's the end of this, so just like, subscribe, and have a nice day.